Thank you so much, Rachel, for the welcome. And also thank you, Schroders, especially Melissa, for all your efforts on hosting this event for us. As I said, my name is Uppi uh, Upasna Badal, and I'm a diversity project ambassador. I sit on the race and ethnicity work stream along with my colleagues in the audience here and also form part of the core team for the Diversity Projects Pathway Program, where we are looking to actively increase the number of female portfolio managers in the industry. I'm also the founder of an executive recruitment and DEI consultancy, and I've been working within the investment and savings industry for the last 17 years. Um, today, we are here to launch our newest initiative from the Race and Ethnicity Workstream, Power Hour, which so hopefully you're all in the right room and in the right building. Um, you will shortly hear from my colleagues in the work stream and our esteemed panelists about how we can tangibly move the dial on ethnic representation at senior levels. I have the distinct honor of telling you how we got here. It was a cold and windy night. No, no, no. Um, Power Hour has been in the works for almost two years now. Um, and so you may have heard of it referred to by many other aliases, but our goal has always remained unchanged. We are looking to tangibly move the dial on mid-career progression for ethnically diverse individuals. There are so many fantastic initiatives that look at the kinks in the hose pipe and the limited talent pipeline and come at it from an entry-level perspective, rewiring re the way people from ethnically diverse backgrounds are engaged and hired into the industry, but very little currently looks to work with those that are already here. It's a fantastic that so much is happening at that level but that doesn't mean it's one and done. Firms have an obligation to create psychologically safe spaces that include and accelerate all their staff. Melody Hobson, um, who is the president and co-CEO of Aerial Investments, which is the largest minority-owned investment firm, shared an insight that she received from her boss when she started, um, and he was the founder of, of Aerial Investments, when she first joined the firm. You're going to be in rooms with people who have big titles and a lot of money it doesn't mean they have better ideas. And this completely encapsulates what we are trying to empower with this new initiative, Power Hour. The true power of a group lies in its diversity. Now more than ever, we are starting to see cognitive diversity being celebrated, amplified, and valued in the industry. However, for those of us from ethically diverse backgrounds, there can be additional lifelong hurdles to navigate. Whether this be in the form of an accent, the persistent need to conform to cultural norms, or raging imposter syndrome that we all probably suffer with. Um, our initial mini career progression work stream, you can see Natasha right there and Syra, Rita who's not with us today because she's on a board, um, came together in mid 2021, equipped at that stage only with our personal stories or stories from friends, colleagues and clients about the barriers that, had been, they, had, that ha they had faced. And that in hindsight and with more of an objective lens, we could, we could share and laugh at. But beneath this, there was a feeling that it shouldn't have to be this way. And that it was that fierce determination, which is often a key characteristic of marginalized communities, that drove us to draw on our individual networks to find the people that had successfully overcome these hurdles. We launched Embrace Your Career, where we interviewed ethnically diverse senior leaders in the industry to share their insights, the barriers they faced, the challenges they overcame, and the practical empowering advice for the next generation. I can see a few of our leaders in the audience, which is wonderful. Thank you for supporting us always. The idea here was to democratize these insights from these successful leaders to the many. The accompanying toolkit is completely open source, and in the last year, we have seen firms across the city and many in this room utilize those insights to augment their leadership development internally. The next phase was always to create an engaged community and informed advocates for people who come from ethnically diverse backgrounds. Traditional mentoring programs are a long time commitment from both sides and time constrained senior leaders are only able to share their expertise with the few. Power hour is just one hour. With Power Hour, we are looking to create 100 mini mentorship matches for mid-career ethnically diverse individuals to be matched with senior industry professionals with the aim of them having a one hour, ask me anything, career related meeting. A rare opportunity to tap the insights from someone you might not have had access to previously. Someone from across the industry, someone who sees things in a different way, 
and where we can limit those blind spots that we might have had being in the same firm for many, many years, as many of us have. If you are a senior leader, we are asking you all to donate just one hour of your time. We'd take five, we'd take 10. <laughs> um, and if you are in your mid-career, please sign up for your chance to engage with one of these leaders. You will, be made back, you will be matched based on similar firm size, profession and locality. And we anticipate a real opportunity for reciprocal insights from these conversations that should be engaging and mutually beneficial for all parties. With that said, please tap that QR code and sign yourself up. We'd like you to share this with your team widely. We really want to see this go as far as we can with colleagues and anyone that you think could benefit. Now, I've, I've done my bit. We will have that back up and they're, they're everywhere, hopefully, because um, we've just launched this. We're really excited. Um, now, I'm delighted to pass the stage to my colleague and friend, Saira Farouk, and our esteemed panelists.